Okay, this is a blended tutorial just to show you how to make a quite a simple model of a UFO spaceship. Uh, it's got no materials on it, um, but for those fairly new to Blender, it should get you up and running uh, fairly quickly with a lot of the um, the basic tools that you need to get you learning and started. Uh, I've kept it really short. There are more advanced tutorials out there that last a lot longer. Um, they're really great tutorials. Um, but this one is, is meant to be kept to about uh, 10 minutes um, just to get you um, familiar with some of the things that you can do. Okay, so let's get started. This is our default screen with our default uh, cube in the middle. I'm just going to highlight that and press delete to do our cube. I'm going to add a mesh and that I'm going to add a UV sphere. There we go. Now if we look over here, we've got segments at 32 and I'm just going to raise that up to 72 segments um, just to give allow a bit more detail on it. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, I'm going to view from the right hand side. Okay, and let's just zoom in now on this. Highlight it and now if I left click on the Y axis and press S for scale and then just drag that down now to a point where we get something that looks a bit like a kind of a UFO disc shape. Let go and um, there we go and if I just have a quick look around it like that um, that's going to form the basis of our UFO. Okay, um, I'll just view from the right again here. Now I'm going to press tab to highlight it there and that takes us into edit mode. Um, I'm going to, what I want to do is highlight this uh, these middle lines here um, like that. Now if, you only have to highlight one and then if you go into select and edge loop that, that highlights them all the way around there. I'm going to click delete and if I click delete now it'll ask me what I want to delete and what I want to do is delete edge loop and if I delete the edge loop it removes it while joining up um, the vertices either side. Okay, so we don't have any gaps there. There we go. Um, starting to look a bit kind of a bit more spaceship like I suppose. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go down on this button here which allows me to highlight the faces and I'm going to go around each face by pressing shift on my right mouse button and what that does, that keeps the other selected while adding to um, my previous selections like that. So I've got all the, every other one highlighted there. And what I'm going to do now is press extrude, press the extrude button for E. Um, in fact, I, I might not even press E, I'm just going to use the panel here on the, on the left which says extrude individual. Okay, and what that does, that kind of takes them all in the same direction there. Can you see what I'm doing there? That's it. There you go, and um, got a nice little kind of thing going on there. Okay, now I'm going to view from the bottom. Right, um, and I'm going to do something quite similar here. Again, every other one. Okay, that's them all highlighted. Um, just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, I'm just going to rotate it now. I'm going to click the E button for extrude. Okay, and um, just lower those down a bit. Click on the left button when I'm happy. And there we go, that's those set now. I'm going to view from the bottom again. Okay, this time I'm going to use a slightly different tool. I'm going to use the, um, the kind of paintbrush select tool, which is C. If I click C, okay, that just lets me select all the faces that the paintbrush goes over like that. It's a very quick and effective um, way to highlight things. And when I've selected them all, right click on the mouse button, that deselects the tool. Okay, I'm going to leave those selected. Now I'm not going to press extrude this time, I'm just going to click on the, the blue arrow here with my mouse button, with my left mouse button and just raise it up. Okay, 
And what that does, it, it's not, it gives a nice little chamfer effect on the side here, so it doesn't raise it directly vertical. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. Um, there we go. Now I'm going to go in again, do exactly the same thing I did before with my shift button, highlighting alternate faces. Okay, there we go. Um, whoops. Control Z. Yeah, and now I'm going to press E for extrude, and I'm going to just extrude those. I'm going to extrude those down like that. Now, I'm doing that for no other reason than to add a, a few more effects. I kind of bit of visual interest for the model there. It's kind of going to be the basis of our kind of engine type thing at the bottom or light beam, whatever you want to call it, of our spaceship. Yeah, okay. Um, there we go. I'm going to view the top. Go into edit mode by pressing tab. I'm going to do something quite similar on the top here. Highlight some of these, the alternate ones here. There we go, I've highlighted the top ones. I'm going to press E for extrude and just raise those up a bit like that, I think. There we go. I'm going to what shall I do now? I know what I need to do. I'm going to make a little dome type effect on the top. All UFOs and spaceships have domes on the top, don't they? So I'm going to go into top view. We're going to edge select mode. And we want to make sure we've got the right edge. So that's the, that's the edge of our circumference of that circle there. Um, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go in one in there. Select. And then you've got your edge loop. There we go. I'm just going to view it from this side so I know what I'm doing here. There we go. I'm just going to raise that up now. I haven't pressed extrude here, by the way. I've just kind of lifted it up a bit. Yeah. I've highlighted um, the central vertices there. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Let's just go up here. Lift it up a bit. Now we've got a kind of simple type of dome. Now you could make it more kind of curved like if you want by adding um, additional rings here, but I'm just just for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to keep it quite simple. Okay, and there is our spaceship. Okay, so I'm just going to click render. And there's our spaceship.